Hey everyone, um, it's Adrian with Admission and I'm gonna show you how to use our profit analysis calculator. It is so easy to use and so fundamental to setting up your ad campaigns for success. So um, please note, all you need to do is use these highlighted cells to fill in. No need to touch any other cells here on this sheet. Um, so after you make your copy, the first thing to input is your average order value. So if you have a brand new brand, um, you might not have enough historical data to really determine what your average order value is. So this is gonna be an estimation for you, which is totally fine. If you do have historical data, then simply pull your average order value from Shopify and pop it in right here. Um, so in this use case, I'm gonna say our average order value is $50. Um, next, you're moving down to your cost of goods. So your average cost of goods across SKUs. Um, if you have a ton of SKUs in your brand, you're going to want to break down your cost of goods um, for different SKU collections that have similar average order values, which means that you're going to need to run this profit analysis multiple times for these different SKU collections. So in this case, I'm going to say that my cost of goods is 20%. My credit card fees are 2.5. My shipping costs are $2. And my fulfillment cost per unit is $2. So this says that my total cost of product and fulfillment are $15.25 and my percentage cost is $31, which is a really healthy percentage cost. If your percentage cost is above 40% or upwards, um, you are going to want to reevaluate these costs as much as you can and really determine um, different ways to make this percentage cost lower and closer to a more healthy percentage like 25 to 35%, for example. Um, this will help you actually hit profitable success on your ad campaigns um, without having to achieve too high of a return on ad spend or ROAS. Um, so on our next tab here, now we see at different spend levels per month, what ROAS target we need to hit in order to make the amount of net profit that we are aiming for or really just achieve profitability in general. So you can see that this takes into account everything we input we input on the other sheet, as well as um, our digital ad spend. So this is taking your ad spend into account and then telling you what your net profit is after your ad campaign. Um, so your ROAS, you play with different numbers here to see um, where you're profitable. So right now, all I wanna do is find out what my break even ROAS target is. Um, and so, I can start maybe at a two. Okay, so at a two, given all my information, I'm actually extremely profitable still. Um, it's saying I'm gonna net 25, about $2,600. Um, and so I'm gonna estimate that my break even is probably gonna be around a 1.3 or 1.32. Yeah, so this is my break even ROAS on Facebook. Um, and so now I know. I can hit this without losing money after ad spend. Obviously, we want to do more than that. We want to actually make money. So you're going to want to input your success target here um, to see what your net profit is going to be, as well as what your CPA target on Facebook needs to be. Um, it'll also tell you how many transactions you'll have on average at $5,000 spend per month. Um, and so you can play with these spend numbers. Say you're not spending $5,000. Say you're starting now at $2,000 a month, um, and that means at a 2x ROAS, you're going to net $1,000 after your ad spend, um, and you're going to have about 80 tra transactions that month. Um, and so as your spend increases, typically your efficiency on Facebook will decrease incrementally. Um, and so you're going to want to play with the small, you know, a bit lower ROAS targets as you increase spend, just so that you can be conservative in your estimations here. Um, so say you hit a 1.9, 1.8, um, 1.7. This, again, is just an example. Um, but now you're able to see, okay, at this amount of spend, what am I netting? How many transactions am I um, having to fulfill at this level of spend? And what is my CPA target um, on Facebook? So that's how you use this tool. Massively helpful. Do not build out your account. Um, before you do this exercise so that you can actually determine what you need to hit to be successful um, on Facebook.